Hello, beautiful family in the light. Much love to you. And thank you so much for joining me on Wednesday's video series that is dedicated to the Ascension Walk series. And today's topic is about listening to that inner nudge. And how do we really listen to that inner nudge? We all receive it. And I really want to dive in this space and share the importance of it as we are walking this walk of ascension and embodiment and why that is such a significant factor. I've been covering a few different uh, topics along this particular state of awareness and consciousness and I welcome you to watch the previous videos. For those of you that are new to my channel, I welcome you and I thank you for being here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much. And as always, I welcome you to leave your comments here and ask your questions so that I can respond to them. And I really value you taking the time in watching this. So let's go ahead and dive into this space. We all receive these inner nudges. And uh, sometimes they're a little bit loud, sometimes they're uh, less loud, and sometimes they're quite quiet, yet we are always receiving them. And when we don't pay attention to them, they do show themselves in other ways, such as in our dream state, such as in the outer screen or our reality through, say, car accident, or through, let's say, some kind of encounter where we weren't expecting um, and maybe missing the airplane or, for example, uh, missing the ride we were supposed to be on or, for example, a certain financial loss. So it, it will always play itself out in the outer screen of our reality. And that inner nudge is coming from a place of deep reverence, deep love that we already are. So it is through the subconscious part of ourselves. It is through that vast divine feminine that is so fluid and open, that has access to everything and everyone. It is part of that automatic state that is the autonomic nervous system that's already automatic, that's pulsing this heartbeat we don't have to think about it, that the breath is coming in it's all connected to the same conscious awareness that's behind the scene that is aware and present to everything in our lives it contains all the solutions it has all the answer it already knows what the issues are and it is accessible, available to every single human being. Now, whether we are accessing it and listening to it, those are complete different things that we will also get into in this video. So let's talk about this nudging. What is it like to get that nudge? Sometimes we might experience something right in our stomach. We call it like that gut instinct. What is that? We're receiving information that was already within our field of awareness. It was already there. So it's not like it's anything new. What happens in those gut instincts, because we become more aligned, our human self becomes more aligned to the truth of that which we are from that great I am awareness, from that divine consciousness, from that life principle of life, what happens that gut instincts, which is that intuition, that intuitive start space, where it, coming, it comes from deep within, becomes jolted as, a, as like a wave of light within, and you feel it right away. It's this gut instinct, so it, it then kicks it into our conscious presence to what's aware that is being observed with these five senses, which is more our masculine consciousness, it, it's brought to the forefront so that we are able to have the ability from the five senses to address it, whether we're going to you know, hear it, whether we're going to see it, whether we're going to sense it, feel it, 
all of these things are part of the five senses. So that's like one of the ones that majority of us when we get that gut instinct because it's almost like as if it gets tightened in the stomach, but it's right behind um, the rib cage and where the breath is and where the heart is. So the, from the heart, this commun inner communication takes place where the breath gets involved and this tightens. So there's this jolting experience of uh, receive something. It's almost like emotion forward. And um, that's one of the ways there's that nudge. Sometimes another nudge that we get is uh, much more subtle, way more subtle. And there's this sense of uneasiness, not anxiety. It is not anxious. It is uneasy. And it's not explainable, yet there's this uneasiness within the field. And it's so important to listen, what is that uneasiness? Because there's information that is presented in the outer screen of our reality. So from that, then there's this opportunity where from internal, we're experiencing this uneasiness. So that means sometimes often it is bumping against a frequency in which is not harmonized and always our divine essence, our divine presence, our infinite consciousness that we are within this temple has a passion and desire for harmony, for peace, for joy, for beauty, for the prosperous, for the luminosity. So when it meets um, a frequency that is in this harmony it has a desire to harmonize it. When it comes to um, a vibration that is not peaceful, it has a desire to, again, harmonize it into peace. So there's always this, this self-governing love that is from that eternal life force that has the desire from, from within to express itself out into this world through the body you're in. That's, this is why it's so important to keep your temple clean. This is a temple. This is the house of God, literally. Like it's so important. Once we become aware of it, we'll take greater care of it. And we don't make excuses why we're polluting it with, for example, debris that are polluting it. We're not gonna allow our you know, limited mind to talk us into what the inside we already know, which is, another topic around this for example you already know within this particular say for example food it doesn't it doesn't serve you it doesn't vibrate you there's an internal knowing yet there's this limited mind that is this intruder that that we sometimes give give our power to because we don't listen to that intuition. The intuition says, no, that's not right. But through this sort of like lack of discipline, and it is really coming from a lack of divine love for the human self that we choose to give it and then talk ourselves, um, talk ourselves that why it was okay, because, oh, nothing can happen. It's okay. Um, it won't affect me or anything like that. So it is that separation because it gave to this vibration frequency that was not um, radiating. And that usually comes from some insecurities inside because when it is more secure, it's coming from love. There's a reverence, there's a love, there's a compassion. And it's like, it can be right in front of you. You could care less to touch it because it's just not for you. It's, there's never been an explanation for it. So those insecurities do exist. And again, there's an intuition, that nudge within that is kicking in to give us the ability to allow our divinity to take charge and be able to make the choice whether, for example, that thing is going to be ingested in this body and is it going to be part of the life force or is it going to deplete the life force? So that is aware of itself. 
And sometimes there's this subtleness, like as you come, there's this uneasiness, right? You come to touch it and it's like not quite feeling right. So when you're there, just leave it. And what really helps in moments like that, don't take the action step. Make sure it is moves into ease before you can. So if you're experiencing an encounter, say, let's say in this case, it's a food, you're not quite sure what to, you go to a place you wanna order food and you're like, mm, you feel that uneasiness, right? Go ahead and just pause, come back, breathe, and proclaim back that the eternal flow of life, that divine order guides and directs you. So say to yourself, the eternal life, the, the divine God presence guides and directs my life in all wondrous ways with pure love and, and drop into that place. And from there, let that ease settle into your body. So then when you approach it, you are able to see this uneasiness lifted and because everything is happening within. So from within, you want it to harmonize on the outside. So when we are having these discrepancy within ourselves, and this is part of the journey of the human experience, the ascension walk, we are going to be given opportunity every single day to experience some of these pockets of insecurity on settleness show up so we get that intuitive nudge in so that we can allow our crystalline light our that christed present that luminosity of light to come into that place harmonize it and allow it to transmute into this natural radiance of the streaming flow so that then what is presented itself on the outer reality is of the same frequency of flow and ease. And this is why it is so important to listen to these nudges, to have a personal story to share with you. We are looking for houses right now and uh, we went and looked at a few places one place we really liked and it felt really great so when we proceeded with it um the steps were good and the owner of this house wanted um they wanted us to move in earlier where we can't and kind of like uh, requiring a few things and it was possible for us yet inside of me it, it there was something about a little bit uneasy and I still proceeded forward, went to bed, and in the morning when I woke up with Michael, I said, Michael, and my, in my dream, um, my dream played this out. And I woke up in the morning and I said, Michael, I need to listen to this internal nudge. I am receiving this internal nudge that I am trying to satisfy the outer reality for another person versus listening to what this internal compass is saying. My own God, the operating system is saying that that's not it. Don't go any further with this. And, and I'm going to choose not to. So I invited him to also see where he was. And interestingly enough, he had the same experience. So we called this off. And why this is so important, because it was so subtle um, in, its, it, in, in its communication, and it was this uneasiness. And the minute I gave voice to it, the minute I brought it conversation with Michael, and the minute I communicated with that eternal flow within myself, the uneasiness opened up, and it allow us to communicate it and that open up in its ease. And this is why those intuitive nudges are very important because they're bringing information from our multi-dimensional selves that has the answers. And, and I knew, and I knew inside of me, Mm, you know, just this is a vibration frequency that I got to address because inside I'm feeling it. I can't quite pinpoint it, but I can feel it. 
And it was so nice to give it the voice and experience the, the ease into my physical body and feeling then more of the trust, more of that ah, deeper guidance, deeper awareness that is here to lead the way even better. And also to know that only the best will show up. So there's a part of this that's not the best. So of course I have to pay attention to this because that, that excellence that I know to be true, that is blessing the way wants to radiate so that it is expressed in the outer reality. It, and if I'm not uh, listening to this and I'm ignoring it because um, there's a part of inside of me wants to just satisfy it right away, then these nudges are coming from a place of love to give the opportunity to transform it and also give the chance to the way that we had made choices before to be now made from this deeper awareness. So this has to do with seven years ago when Michael and I found our place. Now, seven years later, we're back in finding place. So when we did do it with a lot more anxiety and worry and concerns before, now we're in this place that's just very really trusted and we don't, it doesn't need to be that way. And this is why these intuitive nudges really support us. And if you can listen to them, they will not be expressed loud on the outer screen and our reality. And I have plenty of examples where I've also not listened to it. I kind of like ignored it. No, it will be okay. And I had that limited part of me said, no, it's okay. Don't make a big deal out of it. It's okay. And I got to experience when I ignored it, what happened to the reality on the outside that um, in some cases was quite, quite a disaster, yet that was also so perfect because through this lens of the five senses had to see it through the my masculine had to see it so that it can begin to trust that inner part that that feminine part greater that is coming from a place of love and we're talking about qualities here just the quality the feminine principle the masculine principle from source um, not gender wise. And so that way, there's this harmonization between these two life principles together as one, they have to be unified as their own sacred marriage with each other. And the sacred marriage always happens internally, because it already comes from that. It's never on the outside. And this is something that Michael and I are starting our mentorship on Friday. It's a 12 month mentorship about this exact inner divine union and all the different topics that is around this. And for the purpose of this video, this video is about on the Ascension Walk journey, how important, how vital it is to listen to those inner nudges and not ignore them. You might be driving off on the highway and you get that nudge to turn somewhere turn there. You do not know what awaits you, but all these other things, all these prayers you've put out has already been answered. Everything has already been created and you just got to listen carefully within so that it can follow what already has been created for you that is ready to be expressed in the outer field for you. So hopefully this helped uh, clarify some things for you and bring some things to the light and I look forward in reading your comment or any question you may have and I look forward to also see you, seeing you next Wednesday for the next episode of the Ascension Walk series. Thank you so much and have a beautiful, bountiful, blessed day.